Hey, good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. I hope everyone's excited about this day, and hopefully we're all going to church and worship our Lord and Savior here. Um, I want to share a quick word of encouragement with you today. In my quiet time, I was just laying there crying out to God, praying, and, and being still and listening to Him, and, and I felt Him speak to me about a couple words that I think um, were, not only, were not only for me, but for me to share with you. And, and I think the words that God was speaking to me was, Son, continue to be patient and wait on my perfect timing to answer your prayer. And maybe that's where you are this morning, and um, if that is, I hope again, I hope this will speak to you. This, the, the scripture that immediately I thought of was a very familiar one in, in Psalm 37, 7, and it reads, Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for Him to act. Um, and I think you know we all at times have got impatient waiting on God, and what happens is we start feeling worried, alone, upset, and get frustrated. Um, if that's where you are, again, I want to encourage you with this message of hope that God has not forgotten about you or I while we're waiting. Um, and I think we all would agree that it, it's hard to wait, especially when we find ourselves in difficult situations. Um, and again, what I, what I have learned in my walk is I think where we get in trouble when we're waiting is that we always seem to add something to the waiting. It goes something like this. It is waiting plus worrying. It is waiting plus being frustrated. It is waiting plus being impatient. It is waiting plus being unhappy. But again, I love how David adds God to the waiting here when he says, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for Him to act. This means if we're going to add anything to the waiting, it should be waiting plus faith, waiting plus prayer, waiting plus worship, waiting plus hope, and waiting plus peace that surpasses all understanding. You know, if that is where you are, where you're having trouble waiting on God, you have to understand that sometimes things just don't happen when or how we like them to happen. Sometimes we just don't understand what's going on. I think we've all been there. Maybe that's where you are right now. I want to let you know that God knows both you and your life intimately. He sees everything you're going through. He understands the cry of your heart. And He knows your pain. And He has not forgotten, forgotten you. He has you in the palm of His hands. And He's got everything under control, even when it seems like it's not happening on our timetable. So if you're worried, frustrated, feeling alone, upset, and impatient, if so, give it over to Jesus. Be still before Him and wait in faith and hope and peace. He loves you. His heart beats for you, guys. You are engraved in the palms of His hands, and He has it all covered. He will perfect all that things that concern you in His perfect timing. Well, guys, I just felt like to share that with you. I know it spoke to me this morning, and I hope it will encourage you and minister to your heart in your time of need to continue to wait patiently for God to act. Have an awesome day. Know that I love you, and I'm praying for you.